Einstein. My brain is a miraculous instrument. It contains the information I use to protect my money. Five thousand dollars. I'll put it up, but I won't give it up without a fight. But if you're smart enough, quick enough, and lucky enough, you can win Ben Stein's money. Just been sold. My angel is a centerfold, and she's here to take the five thousand dollars. I'm going to We're going to shock you because we have three real-life Playboy centerfolds, and boy, are they ready to play! And now let's turn the pin up to my pinstripes. Usually I wear pinstripes. Today I have these silk pajamas. Nancy Pimentel, and find out a little bit about these beautiful girls. April 2001. Yay! Very exciting. Very exciting. So that's on the newsstand now, right? Yes, it's out right Very now. Very exciting. Look at our whole audience leave right now. Hey! <laughs> okay, you got to explain why your nickname is Mouse Butt. <laughs> um, it was a nickname that I got uh, from an ex-boyfriend. He just always said I had a cute butt, and he just started calling me Mouse Butt. So. <laughs> You shoved mice up your ass. Oh. Oh, my, my bad. My bad. I, I'll let you do it if you want. I'll let you do it. <laughs> May 2001, Katie and Nancy. Okay. I, I, hope, I hope when you guys beat Ben. Okay, <laughs> and beats him at the game. Okay. Um. <laughs> And next we got Jessica Lee. Hi, Jessica. Jessica, Hi. you guys. <laughs> Thank you. This is, the, this is the closest you're going to get, buddy, so enjoy it. <laughs> what month are you? I'm Miss August 1996. Very good. Very good. Very good. That's the one that you have the pages stuck together, sir. Uh, so, uh, turn on hot. Florida nights, humor, full body massages. What, what uh, here, your turn offs. People who act like hot shots, drugged up dopes, and complainers. Yeah, of course. Then there's two other ladies. <laughs> oh, sorry, Ben. Wait a minute, she said drugged up dopes. Yeah, complainers okay, and people who act she like hot say, shots. She didn't say drugged up smart people. <laughs> <laughs> so That's I think I'm in the story. clear. Consider in a million years. What what on earth could be exciting about a nipple ring? It just shows the person is wearing it is her likes to hurt himself. Oh no, actually, a lot of people do like it. You only can have one if you like it because it, it actually intensifies the sensitivity. You people are crazy. Okay, contestants, good luck. You're gonna need it. everyone. Please turn your attention to our game board as Nancy tells us our first oh five topics. Okay, I think. Okay, you guys, they are. I'm betting $100 on who's going to be the next centerfold. What's the spread? Uh. After eating earthquake or oats, I experience the 
big one. <laughs> Things that contain silicone besides Pamela Anderson's hacky sack. Oh. The insurance agent's baby was born premium mature. Oh. And the oversexed sea captain made the ensign play mate until he could see his land. Oh, oh God. That's a ridiculously good one. That last one was a particularly good one. In the first round, playmates, question worth anywhere from $50 to $150 of my money. We'll start with you, the lovely Carissa Fair. Please pick a topic. Hmm. Let's go with I'm betting $100 on who's going to be the next centerfold. What's the spread? $50 question. Who was the first centerfold in Playboy magazine? Oh, Marilyn Monroe. Oh. What? I have just a call on you first, oh. but, you, but you, you did get it. It's fine. You did, you did ring in, and you did get it. Very good. $50 follow-up. $50 follow-up. In what decade did Hugh Hefner publish the first issue of Playboy? 1954. Well, that's, I think that's good enough, don't you? Uh, okay, our new category. <laughs> I lost the ripped-up picture of the Pope, so the singer tore me a new one. <laughs> and Carissa, you get to pick. After eating earthquake oats, I experienced the big one. Hundred-dollar question, literally meaning quake writing. What instrument measures and records the vibrations of the earth? Carissa? A Richter scale. Uh, no. Oh. Um, Jessica? I'm going to try Richter graph. No, Stenograph? sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Katie? No. Seismograph. Seismograph. That's right. Close enough. Close enough. $50 toss-up. On the Richter scale, a 7.0 earthquake is how many times more powerful than a 6.0 earthquake? How many times? <laughs> that should uh, be easy. Ten times more Ten powerful, times. yes. It's, I think, what's called a... Oh! <laughs> Before I lose any more cash, it's time to take a spring break, and then we'll come back and see how much more money these bodacious, gorgeous bunnies can take away from me right after this. $100 of my money. Nancy, do we have a new category on our board? Yes, we do. It is. Things that go up quicker oh, than God. your junior high boyfriend. Oh, <laughs> and, uh, Carissa, you get to pick. Oh, let's go with that one. Things that go off quicker than your junior high boyfriend. <laughs> $100 question. Flower pots, fountains, and pinwheels are examples of what items you might see at a patriotic celebration. <laughs> Jessica. I'd say 4th of July. No. 4th of July? No. Katie? Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. No, no. <laughs> fireworks. $50 <laughs> toss-up. In England, fireworks displays occur on Guy Fawkes Day in what month? Katie? August? No. You got one in 12 shot. <laughs> no, no, it, it was, it's November. It's November. It's a very hard one. All right, you guys, our new category. The Middle Eastern sex bomb has got a nice Iraq. Oh. And, uh, we got less than two minutes, Carissa. Oh. Uh, let's go with things that contain silicone besides Pam Anderson's hacky sacks. $150 question. By mixing boric acid and silicone oil, what rubbery toy was accidentally invented in 1943? Jacati? Silly putty? Yes, yes, yes. $50 follow-up. Invented in 1987, what toy ball is made of thousands of rubbery strands which give it a distinctive porcupine look? A uh, koosh ball? Very nice! Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Our new category. The motorist knew he was in trouble when the LAPD showed up in a black and blue. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with the insurance agent's baby was born premium mature. Hundred dollar question. Name the number one seller of auto insurance in the United States whose slogan begins, like a good neighbor. <coughs> Carissa? State Farm. State is Farm there? it is. Very good. Founded <laughs> in 1931, what insurance company uses the slogan, you're in good hands? With all states. Very good. Very good. Very good.
quiet, but I bet Ben will give you five thousand dollars. <laughs> Blondes are still in the game. I can't believe the two blondes are still in the game. And Jessica, we enjoyed very much having you on the show. Uh, we don't, unfortunately, we have to say goodbye. I wish we didn't. But I was going to take your zero dollars and let's see. Well, I won't do anything with it, but I shall miss seeing someone so young, thin, Thank and with you. such big breasts on my show. Now, we come back. These two survivors are going to try to get deep into my wallet. I'm going to defend my money by actually becoming a contestant. Stay tuned. You might see something you like. Carissa, lovely, beautiful playmate, has $250 of my money. Katie, lovely, beautiful playmate, has $200 of my money. It's all once again defend by becoming a common contestant. Okay, now whoever has the highest score at the end of the round, whether it's Katie or Carissa, will get to go on to play with Ben. That is great. Forget the five grand. <laughs> Uh, so, hey, you guys, let's look at our new categories. They are, who's in charge of that centerfold magazine? Funny you should ask. We left our kid in Aspen, Colorado, because it has a childproof uh -huh. capital. Even though the librarian was stacked, she was always micro-fishing for compliments. Achilles held it in so long, he had to pee like a Trojan horse. And Tennessee Williams liked going to the theater auditions to pick up playboys. Kid in Aspirin, Colorado, because it has a childproof capital. All right, that's four hundred dollars, Ben. Name either of the two U.S. states whose capital city's name contains the state's name. Benjamin. Kansas. No. Oh, it was Oklahoma. Oklahoma and Indiana. Oh. Oklahoma City and Indianapolis. Oh. No, actually, Indianapolis does not contain the name because there's an O instead of an A after the N. The first woman ever allowed in a voting booth said, these curtains have got to go. <laughs> I'll try. Uh, Tennessee Williams like going to the theater editions to pick up Playboys. All right, that's another $400. What Tennessee Williams play, which opened in 1951 and later became a film, was written with Italian actress Anna Mugnani in mind? Ben? Uh, the Roman Spring of Mrs. Stone. No. Uh, it's what... All ladies have on their ass the rose tattoo. Oh my God! Wow, that is a that is a hard one. Holy smoke. All right, new category. Wow. Farmer Bob snuck over to the cow and tried to veal her up. I'll try. Even though the librarian was stacked, she was always microfishing for compliments. Three hundred dollars. After an 1814 fire at the Library of Congress, which former president sold his extensive personal library to the institution? Ben. Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. Yep. <laughs> okay, new category. Scarf Brooks sings Ascot Friends in Bolo Places. And, uh, you guys, we got less than a minute. Come on, I'll get in there. I'll try. Achilles hold it in so long he had to pee like a Trojan horse. Four hundred dollars. What Greek soldier of the Trojan War was second only to Achilles in strength? <laughs> a young fella named Ajax. Mm -hmm. I've seen lots of them Trojan Wars and gay porno movies. <laughs> okay, our new category. When he pulled out his organ, they called the Viscera Squad. I'll try. When he pulled out his organ, they called the Viscera Squad. $200. The Viscera generally refers to the ten organs located in what part of the body? Uh, yes, Ben? Abdomen. Yes, Ben. Very good. <laughs> You have two hundred and fifty dollars, and you move on. Katie, girl, we gotta say goodbye to you. Oh, you've been a worthy competitor, Katie, and you're a beautiful young woman, extremely beautiful, extremely young, and we wish you nothing but success in your glorious Thank career. You. However, since you did not get as much as Carissa, you are going away, going back to the life 
That's the lonely life of a Playboy centerfold. <laughs> leaving, leaving the world of cable TV and going to the lonely life of a Playboy centerfold. We shall miss you. Goodbye. We're going to take your $200, and we're just going to, let's see, how should we get it back on the board? I think I'll, I think I'll just mow it back onto the board as if it's a lawnmower. <laughs> You beautiful bunny, Carissa, and Centerville, maybe within mere moments of ruining my day. Well, no, I'd be proud to have you win my $5,000. The Sanders seats, even as ladies as beautiful as this, it could get ugly. Food and nature, everything good and permanent, you and all other human beings. So far, you've taken $250 away from me, and that's yours to keep no matter what happens. Now, let's see if you can push me off the deep end and take all $5,000 of my money that Nancy, the lovely Nancy, has in this safe. She's guarding it in this safe. All you have to do is beach me in what we call the best of 10 tests of knowledge. Could you explain it to our lovely friend, please, Nancy? It's nice and cold I today. I know. But, Ben, before I do, I want to show you. I got oh. my new edition oh, of Play Nerd magazine. Play Nerd, yes. I, I didn't want to tell you I am on the cover of Play yes. Nerd this month. And I, I must say, it is. You don't get into Play Nerd just for no differential calculus. Uh, uh, appa apparently. Uh, <laughs> it was funny how you had that whole equation written all yeah, the way exactly. out. <laughs> okay, I'm going to ask you both the same ten questions, and if you can get more correct than Ben, you get his $5,000. Would you like to go first or second? Uh, I'll go first. Oh, very Give me a little ticky hops. Wait a second hey, here. We've got to put on our headphones. Hey, Ben, they're going three against one. Oh, here. my yeah. gosh. Yeah. yeah. Funny oh, power. Wow. Yeah. Funny power. Activate. <laughs> I got ten questions, and you're going to have 60 seconds to answer them, all right? Are you ready? Yeah. Then let us begin. What type of lawsuit attempts to establish that a particular man is the father of a child? Paternal. Paternal? No. Oh, more specific. <laughs> yeah. What former king is honored on a Hawaiian state holiday every June 11th? Yeah. From 1861 to 1865, who served as Abraham Lincoln's Secretary of State? Yeah. What impish char Shakespeare character utters the line, Lord, what fools these mortals be? Yeah. In what city is the Pentagon located? Washington, D.C.? No. What is the French equivalent of the U.S. Academy Awards? Skip. What term refers both to the tonality of a musical composition and to a low island or reef? Skip. <laughs> Which Eastern Conference NHL team won the Stanley Cup in 2000? Skip. <laughs> what term refers to a painful, fluid-filled pocket of infection caused by tooth decay? Oh. Oh. Zero. Kamayamaya, it was Seward who was the Secretary of State, the character was Puck, the city is Arlington, the French equivalent of the Academy Awards is the Cesar Awards, the term is a key, uh, NHL team was the New Jersey Devils, and the uh, painful, fluid-filled pocket of infection is an abscess. All right. All right. Oh, my God. It's here. cold, Ben, and I have bad news for you. What? The lady's got a perfect score. Oh, no. <laughs> what did they get, really? Okay, no, Ben, they actually only got zero. I love those kind of contestants. Oh. They're my absolute favorite. Yeah, but, you know, they, maybe they should come out here and distract you or something. No, 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 no. <laughs> You'll have the same 60 seconds and three hot babes. Uh, are you ready, Ben? I shall do my For best. the questions, that well, is. Well, they can't be. They can't be like my ear. <laughs> ben, every man in America is jealous of you right now. Eat it up, babe. Okay. All right, you ready? All right, let us begin. Okay. What type of lawsuit attempts to establish that a particular man is the father? 
father of a child. Paternity. Yes. What former king is honored on a Hawaiian state holiday every June 11th? Kamehameha. Yes. From 1861 to 1865, who served as Abraham Lincoln's Secretary of State? Oh, that is a good question. Stan, Stan, I think. No. What impish Shakespeare character utters the line, Lord, what fools these mortals be? Huck. Yes. In what city is the Pentagon located? Arlington, Virginia, yes. right outside Washington. What is the French equivalent of the U.S. Academy Awards? Uh, let's see. The Palme d'Or. No. What term refers both to the tonality of a musical composition and to a low island or reef? Hmm, I don't know. Pitch? I don't no. Know. Which Eastern Conference NHL team won the Stanley Cup in 2000? Uh, Detroit. No. What term refers to a painful, fluid-filled pocket of infection caused by tooth decay? Ooh, an abscess. Yes. The goal of what famed theater impresario was to glorify the American girl? Oh, let's see. Huroc? No, but you got five. Five to zero. Well, I'm The beautiful Miss Carissa Fair. I'm going to give $250 to whatever is her favorite charity, and I'm also going to give all the rest of my prize winnings to Friends of Animals Foundation that takes care of poor lost dogs and cats. And we're out of time till next time. I'm going to give three more people, and not as beautiful as Nancy or the Playmates, have, a chance to win, 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 win nine, 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 money. money. Argus Internet Digital Camera Kit needs no film. Innovative designs for today's lifestyle. Software package included to customize your photos. An American tradition since 1936 from Argus. You're watching Comedy Central. Keep it here for late night comedy at a decent hour. Saturday Night Live is coming up next.